point. So we'll do I that. I actually have to even play right now. Yes, yeah, so if they can, they can sub it now. I can take a break for a bit. All so. right. I, you know what? If we want to do it, let's do it. This is a good time for it because I think Koopa, I do believe, has is coming later. So you guys will probably get that. So yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm getting in touch with them now. So all right. So here's the deal. ML and uh, Sinatra. Go into Tri-State Discord, get your commentary rolls, jump in the pool, and I'll, and I'll pull you in. Kyle, can you stay in until they get in, just to be sure? Like, I yeah, would stay fine. in, but I have to play my match already. No, that's fine. I'm, you do what you got to do. I'm here. So. All right, sick. We'll see what happens later, friends. We're going to have some more wonderful commentators for you guys to commentate Tokyo versus Pokelam with the, the Violet from Lucas. That is okay. Yeah, Violet Fire Emblem. So... So quite a matchup here. I obviously I think um, you know DLC Fire Emblem characters have always kind of been, I'd say a, a bane for uh, for Villager. Villagers always kind of had you know these issues with these uh, farther range fighters. But I don't know. Yo, yo, what's good? What's up, ML? I've just been grinding you, yo, man. Let's go. <laughs> Literally all I've been doing in quarantine. I hear that. But uh, yeah, I saw Tokyo in chat say he was running Byleth and like one game of Ness. So it's gonna be interesting to see how he deals with uh, Pokelam. I know he's a little infamous on Wi-Fi. Yeah, he's one of the the, um, the big Wi-Fi warriors in this area. That's gonna be a strike down the middle. So it's really oh, oh yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, betrayal, betrayal. Yeah. <laughs> well, well that's, that's me when I get nothing but eggs out of my trees. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> dude, oh, one, one more day, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, so done, I'm so done with this furniture, man. Yeah, I hate yeah, it. Yeah. At least you can sell it for good money. Yeah, you got it. But Yeah, I don't know. It's one of these things where, like, I feel like because Villager hasn't changed, like, too much in since in since from game to game, I feel like he definitely struggled from a lot of the same, like, character archetypes. Like, swords, I feel and any sort of range, I feel like, still give him problems. And I think the only advantage he'd have against Bilas is the fact that he's a little bit more nimble and Bilas yeah, is a little, a little bit slow. Oh, Christ! Yeah, fast, faster in the air and ground, but... I mean, I, I've seen Justin, like, use Bilas against uh, Straw Hat, so I feel like Bilas is actually pretty good against these, uh... Oh, God. Against these Zoner-type characters, but the downfall of that tether is just the edge guard. It makes life a lot easier for edge guarding, especially Villager. Yeah, Bilas has, like... Joker recovery on steroids, but like being as slow as Pilot is does not, uh, you know, give that recovery at least like much imagination. Yeah, uh, but also on the ledge, she's just scary. Like you see there, the all it takes was one strong fare with uh, Pokalim hanging on the ledge too long to close out the stock. Yeah, and a fair and bear are like absolutely insane. Like they yeah, weren't kidding when he said his characters, they weren't saying this, they weren't kidding when he said his characters a distance demon. <laughs> But, you know, Pokemon's still in the lead here by, or Tokyo, but to buy himself some time with Side B, at the very least. And Forward Air still being such a great spacing tool for Villager. Ooh, Lord. Yeah, Fair and Bear Slingshot, always good. You always are going to respect them. It's like Villager still has, like, the same conditioning around. So they're pretty much, like, they're the only character that really got ported. Like, when everyone was saying the game's a port, Villager's kind of the only one that really uh, adhered to that advice. Yeah, I think the only thing they changed is that isn't. I think they took away the RNG on turnips. Is that? Uh, I'm not too sure. Is it? Is it just all three now? I think so. Okay. I could be wrong. I could be wrong in saying that. I know that they. They. Oh, that's. A, <laughs> when you, yeah, you combo. You're not working up smash into your working up smash. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that, that's the meta of a lot of characters. That's that one meme where it's just like you see like the it's like a restaurant sign, but like half the bulbs are missing, but like it still spells out restaurant. <laughs> so it's so it's like when the original plan like doesn't work, but you eventually get to the end result anyway. <laughs> yeah, I still think Tokyo is going to stick it out with Byleth. I think Byleth is still a good choice against Villager. If, I also feel like like I when I think of Ness versus Villager, I just think back to like those like. Super cheesy matchups, or if you try to up B, like Villager, if you just pocket your up B for free. Yeah, I think that's like what he's most scared of. Like, poor Ness, man. Uh, nah, he deserves it. Yeah, you're, you're probably right. <laughs> All 
All right, let's see what the uh yeah the counter pick. Uh, yeah. Probably, I think Battlefield is still decent for Byleth. Maybe Town or not Town. Maybe Smashville, even. Okay, so I think the the changes that they made on the on um, the change that they made with uh, down air is that uh, in the last game only the three turnips would meteor spike, and now in this game all the turnips meteor spike. So okay, okay, yeah, I think it uh, that makes sense. Yeah, so you still have the RNG on the turnips, but then now all of them spike. That yeah. that's a good change. Stonks, baby. Yeah, <laughs> dude, <laughs> turnip dot exchange. That shit can't clutch. Yo, dude, I've been I've been surfing the black market all week. It's like crack. I feel like I'm Jordan Belford or something <laughs> yeah. like that. I'm, I'm trading my penny stocks. Gonna buy some more tomorrow. <laughs> all right, so uh, Smashville will be the choice here. Um, let's see if the smaller stage or at least buy, you know, Tokyo some uh, better real estate to play with. He's not gonna have to worry about getting, uh, you know, forward smashed, you know, all the time off of getting up the ledge and such yeah the, the good thing too is that with with the range that Byleth has he covers so much space oh he absorbs the, the air yeah, i don't think he'd be able to i thought that'd be like the bullet type uh projectile where it's like you can't really absorb it or like the yeah. the one that comes out of the kid icarus lance what it's called uh yeah 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 um yeah where it's not really a know. true projectile oh yeah. he air dodged it though Ooh, okay yeah that's again forward are going to be the uh the extending the hitbox you know through the the gyroid yeah that's just a thing that sucks for villagers because it's like oh can't roll through that man force mass right there to eat it up but yeah normally you can't uh you can't stick out too many of these things that uh last forever with villager like that's his his whole shtick is having a lot of long lasting hitboxes that aren't attached to him but that's like is also his main downfall because at the same time the, uh, the hitboxes extend right into them and they're like disjoints. How bad do you feel when you get hit by the bowling ball? Because I feel like a, I, I feel so bad when I get hit by that move. Oh, I, I feel like a stupid idiot when I get hit by the bowling ball. <laughs> like there's there's no there's no better there, or there's no better way to describe it than saying you feel like an idiot when you get hit by it. It's just like the worst feeling. Oh, it's, oh my god, the spot that I was just trading. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, the axe, that, that was definitely on the mash chop, but it was the, it's still the right thing to do. He'd rather have that than get killed off a of berry. Yeah. Ooh, okay, he almost rolled into the axe, and that definitely would have been enough to kill right there. So, Tokyo definitely counting his blessings, but Pokalam. Oh. Yeah, he'll be the wrong way. It might have been misinput. Yeah, that was... I'm going to put my bet the farm, and that was on a misinput. So, Pokalam up, uh, you know, pretty decently here. Okay, okay, he's getting the, the gyroids. Oh, into the bowling ball again. Making me feel like a stupid idiot if I get hit by that. Oh, he's getting the back, dude. <laughs> Who do you think you are? I am. <laughs> That's right. I did it. Keep <laughs> <laughs> uh, over the goat. <laughs> uh, that, that's all I have now, man. Professional bowling. <laughs> even then, they're, they might be even, like, not even a lot of the alleys. They're not essential. Yeah. Yeah, not essential business. <laughs> Alright, so Tokyo definitely in, a, in dire straits here. Pokemon has been putting on a display at the ledge, so... Yeah, that's... I mean, that's just something that Village is always... Ooh, oh, oh, oh. The X. Choppity chop. Not even yeah. a golden tool, but still get the job done. Yeah. Why do my golden tools break? I hate it here. I know, dude. That's, that's one of the things, like, I, I've been thinking about a while, like... Do I like this game more than New Leaf? And it's like, there's good and bad things. I think um, the game, I just like the fact that the game like looks better. 